Maxwell, and welcome back to my channel. This is your Max Reacts, and I'm continuing the Queen of the Ratchet podcast. This is episode 16. Let's see what happens. This episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Raid. Aren't you tired of dealing with the roaches in your life? Oh my God. Also being sponsored by White Fragility because there's enough of that to go around Ooh, everywhere. Too. White Fragility. Let's expose all the Karens and defund the police. Okay. <laughs> Bitch, black lives matter, no justice, no peace. And for white hope, you'll never be poor white house blind. Let's now forget about our black queer and trans lives. That song is one of the many parodies that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can listen to that song on SoundCloud. Go get your life. Bubblegum kitty, come take a licky. Slip and slide, make it wet on this pet. No, it don't scratch. No, it don't say meow. Get in these cakes and make them go ow. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Coella DeVille from Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Has anybody seen the Kardashian? Because they haven't been anywhere in sight since Kanye spoke. I'm Maleficent from Disney's Sleeping Beauty. It's time to keep it real. Trans women are women. I'm Ursula from Disney's The Little Mermaid. Leave God out of your bad decisions. He didn't tell you to go be a hoe. I'm Yisra oh. from Disney's The Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Ashananaboba. Just because your mom won't smack the taste out of your mouth don't mean I won't. I'm Lady Tremaine from Disney's Cinderella. I hope you all enjoyed the opening acts. Now it's time for the main event i'm medusa from disney's the rescuers if you're the main event i'm sure we're gonna have a lot of people wanting their money back look here sewer rat i'm not in the mood Damn. to argue with the gutter snipe today not i'm snipe. not in the mood to smell the ocean but every time you open your legs i smell <laughs> can we stop this caucasian soap opera please i really don't care to listen to days of our whites today well we could all bow our heads and ask the lord for forgiveness hopefully he'll forgive you for wearing them cheap eyelashes on your face. Enough of the squabbling <laughs> heads. We have two very special guests that are ready to tell their side of the story. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I walked so these other hoes can run. I'm Cinderella. I really don't have much to say, but I married the help. I'm Prince Charming. What do you mean you married the help? No offense, babe. You know I love you. Let's just get right into it. Cinderella, word around town is that you've been dabbling in the lady pond with Mulan. What's been going on, girl? I think that Charming and I can both say that we're both private people. I do believe that this is my coochie in my business, but I will go ahead and address it. Please do, because I've been waiting to hear this. Well, to make a long story short, Charming and I really didn't know each other before we got married. And marriage isn't easy. And, you know, um, I can attest that he gets on my damn nerves. You know, there's a difference between old money and new money, and some people aren't used to having it, like my wife, Cinderella. <laughs> you ain't innocent in this either, Charm, and word around town is that you've been dipping and dabbing in Prince Eric's Bucci. Hold up, what's a Bucci? It's another way of saying boy coochie. So boys have Bucci's now? I done heard it all. Back to the topic at hand. Cinderella, Why? Prince Charming, the petty audience wants to know what's going on and are y'all getting a divorce? So let me get this straight. Y'all are married in two different relationships. What are y'all, swingers? I wouldn't call what I have with Mulan a relationship. Yeah, I wouldn't say that about me and Prince Eric either. So what do you call it then? An entanglement. An entangle who? Anyway. Complicated romantic relationship. I could say the same thing about me and Prince Eric. Sound like you both just want to mess around. It ain't my bedroom, it ain't my business. Exactly. So what I'm hearing is there's not going to be a divorce right now. No. <laughs> for everyone to just respect our privacy during this time. According to the fairytale land gossip blogs, Mulan and Prince Eric are working on a joint album called Entanglement. Well, we all know that's going to flop, but we wish them nothing but success. Let's take a break. <laughs> I love gold digger A gold digger for life 
that song is one of the many parodies that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. Ashanabo, bye. And we're back. <laughs> um, all I have to say about Cinderella and Prince Charming's entanglements are mind the coochie you bust from. I agree, if what? I can't watch, I don't care about it. Plus, I got my own entanglements to worry about than to be worried about somebody else's. Now, before we get up on out of here, is there any advice y'all want to leave the petty audience with today? Black people can be Karens too. Just look at Kanye West. <laughs> Not everybody can be unfiltered. Some of you hoes need to put a filter across your face. One man's top is another man's bottom. I'll shut up. Just because they got followers don't mean they bills are paid. Stay a keyboard gangster if you really not about that life. Here's mine. Ain't nobody got time for broke shenanigans. With that being said, make sure you're following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one <laughs> as well. Um, yes, again, they, they forever dropping gems and we're dropping gems to get people through the pandemic and that time of life, Lord entanglements. It makes me think, have y'all been watching this real life <laughs> to see all the foolishness that is this particular group of people? I actually enjoy it. I didn't watch it back in the day when like Flavor Flav and Bridget Noel on there, but like this one, I actually like with Dennis and um, Tamar and August and Stormy and Autumn. They are hilarious to <laughs> me. The entanglement thing when we think about that and how in the first episode of August was like, I don't want to say nothing about that. <laughs> but yes, if y'all out here doing your thing, y'all in entanglements and y'all good with it, cool. As long as everybody's cool with it, that's that's y'all business. It shouldn't be nobody else's business. Um, but yes, this is good. Let me know your thoughts on it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.